Let's do a little bit of social politicking right now. So we're going to listen to a KKK guy. Pretty articulate guy, actually. Defend his views, right? Now, I think everybody should get a fair shake to say what they got to say, right? So we're going to give this guy a little listen to. I was told that this guy, I should listen to him. I should hear him out and see what my thoughts are and what he's going to say. It is my humble duty tonight to introduce you to the grand and imperial wizard of the invisible knights of the Q Klux. Now, this is very old. This is um, from the, I believe this is from 1982, back when CNN was a news organization. This is with Pat Buchanan. I don't, I don't recognize the other gentleman working for CNN, but I do recognize Pat Buchanan. I respect Pat Buchanan. Clan, Mr. Bill Wilkinson. Oh, Imperial Wizard, can you tell me, and us, 100 years after you set the few your... So I noticed, um, I don't like the way this interviewing guy is starting the interview already. Oh, Imperial Wizard, he's disrespecting him. And um, I don't think that this KKK guy should be disrespected. He's there to have a conversation. I think when you're there to have a conversation, no matter who you're speaking to, if you want the, convers the conversation to get somewhere, you have to remain respectful. So off rip, this guy's already starting off on the wrong foot. Hear him out. It is my humble duty tonight to introduce you to the grand and imperial wizard of the invisible knights of the Ku Klux Klan, Mr. Bill Wilkinson. Oh, Imperial Wizard, can you tell me, and us, 100 years after you set the, you, your predecessors, set the South aflame with the cross burnings, lynchings, and uh, other uh, events, you should be bothering this country still? To begin with, I, I believe a, a slight rebuttal is in order for your opening statements or the opening statements that was made about the Klan. We are not anti-Catholic. We are not anti-Semitic. Uh, we believe in the white race. We believe that at this point in time that white Americans are being treated as second-class citizens, that the federal laws... The you see, that's all fine and dandy, but for you to, be able to, for you to be able to say that and for us to respect it, you're going to have to control your goons. You're going to have to control your guys because all I hear from these guys is, you know, I hate niggers, I hate spicks, I hate kikes. That's all I hear from the KKK. Ever. It's the first time in my life I actually hear a KKK guy not screaming. So while you're, while you're using all those racial slurs, you can't say you don't hate. That makes no sense to me. And you cannot call yourself a Christian organization because when you use the N-word at someone, you know, you're, 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 you hate. It's an act of hate. The civil rights laws have created a dual system of justice in this country, uh, a set of federal laws that protects the interest of minorities and local and state laws. But grand and imperial wizard, if I may. Of white people. If now, I may interrupt, <clears throat> if I might be so bold as to interrupt the imperial wizard. Uh, it's <laughs> He's disrespectful. And even though I don't agree with what this guy's saying so far, you know, um, you don't have to be disrespectful. I wouldn't have been like, uh, you know, if I, may, if I may be so bold as to interrupt the great Imperial Wizard, you can tell that the white boy doesn't like it. Watch. The wizard, if I may. white people. If I may interrupt. If I may be so bold as to interrupt the Imperial Wizard, uh, it says on a uh, sheet that you people hand out to the young and the youths of our high schools, it says, uh, if you want to join the clan, quote, I swear that I am of white non-Jewish heritage. Are you fed up with special privileges given to blacks? That's a quotation from your own literature. Absolutely. We are well, a Christian... What do, you mean you're not, what do you mean you're not anti-Semitic? We are a Christian organization. Uh, we also don't allow Buddhists or Muslims or atheists in the organization. What? The thing is, the anti-Semitic thing, a lot of people are anti-Semitic. A lot of people are anti-Semitic. And anti-Semitism anti is one of those very dangerous um, superstitions because... You know, we all know where that shit led. And that's not the first time that happened in history. Jews have been slaughtered in wholesale throughout the history of mankind, throughout recorded history. So anti-Semitism is very dangerous. 
And definitely, a lot of people are anti-Semitic. But the anti-Semitism that runs through the KKK, I feel, is a lot more dangerous. Any racism that runs through them is more dangerous because, you know, they, they, they have acted on it. They have acted on it in the past, and I feel like they'll act on it again. When did you take in the Pat Buchanan's? When I was a kid in Dubuque, I was a Ku Klux Klan, which was then fairly powerful in Indiana, about 1922 or three, somewhere in there. Uh, you were anti-Catholic. The Klan has had different views from time to time on, on lesser issues. Mm -hmm. The one issue we've never changed on is, the, is that of segregation. Uh, we believe that God has commanded us to separate ourselves from other races. Uh, in fact, that's not a unique stand. Billy Graham, just a few years ago himself, segregated his uh, crusade audiences. He preached segregation. Uh, the Southern Baptist and the, and the National Baptist, one was black, one was white. Mm -hmm. They practiced and preached right, segregation. So, so we didn't invent segregation. We right, just still, still about, believe in it. Let me ask you about something, and, and you did correct it, let me say, before the show started. So yeah, man. At least the KKK, at least some niggas, are, they... they, 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 they they don't hide, man. They say what they believe. A lot of these motherfuckers you see out there, they believe in that segregation shit. They believe, black folks believe in segregation. A lot of people in America still believe in segregation. Is that we've been segregated for a long time. And, and that, that's, a, <clears throat> that's a big beast to kill. All over college campuses, you have black kids wanting to segregate. And, and then you have older black folks from the Jim Crow era saying we were better off when we were segregated. I mean, I hear this all the time. And you'll hear it too if you just search for it. So it's not just the KKK guy saying it. A lot of people feel that way. They just won't vocalize it. Something I was unaware of. But there are a number of Klan organizations, and I gather it is not yours, who march in tandem, arm in arm, with members of the American Nazi Party. Now, the Nazis were responsible for the murder, not simply of, uh, of Jews in Germany, but American pilots, American soldiers, uh, they're guilty of all manner of horrid atrocities. They have on their, uh, I guess, on their record some quarter of a million American dead. Now, why would any patriotic American, or one who calls himself a patriotic American, be anywhere near the swastika, the insignia of Hitler's Germany? Well, as you conceded before the show, I, mm -hmm. I did clear up that point. The Klan, the Invisible Empire, which I had, uh, detests Nazis as much as we do communists. But I'd like to make one thing clear, that there's, there's too much hype today about the Germans and the Nazis. Uh, let's not forget that the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor and they led to death marches in Bataan. Uh, I don't believe that we should condemn all of the Germans for something that happened in Germany 40 not. years ago. And I do condemn... I'm going to have to agree with the KKK guy on that one. Definitely, we forget about the atrocities that Stalin committed, the atrocities that the Japanese committed in World War II. It was not just Hitler. And the, the real responsible country for World War II was Japan. Japan was fucking shit up way before Germany wanted to. I was even thinking about it. People, it's just a propaganda would have you believe that the Nazis, you know, are the worst thing in the world, which they are, but there's people that are right up there with them and probably have more bodies on them than the Nazis do. You know, study Mao real quick. Him, what Hitler did uh, to any Why would any patriot, <clears throat> someone who calls himself a patriot, and a clan's groups with which I guess you're associated with members, if not the leadership, why would they march with people who are march under the swastika? We don't. We you don't. don't. Why, we, do, why do your colleagues do that? I, I believe, to make it clear at first, we're the only national clan organization left. There have been those that have come and gone. There's, it's, it's sort of like the political parties, mm -hmm. the Democrats, Republicans, mm -hmm. American Independents. They come and they go. They splinter and they, and they regroup and rejoin. Right now, we are the major unquestioned or clan organization in America. There's some people that we have expelled from. So these guys are basically they're a gang. These dudes are no different than 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 than, than street dudes than 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 a street gang. It's like when you have uh, the original. It, it's like I'm gonna use the Bloods as an example. You know, you had your original Bloods here in New York, the UBN. I believe the UBN, the United Blood Nation, right? But now when you go to New York, you have a set of bloods fighting with another set of bloods from the same, from, from different blocks. And that's the pattern in every single gang that I've ever studied. <clears throat> you have your original, and then you have your subsets, and then you, the original tries to shut down the subset, but the subset ain't having it because they won't be shut down. 
and they're gonna rep their shit. So that's basically what's going on with the KKK. You know, as soon as I got familiar with the with the gang culture, I had a I, I really thought the KKK thing. These guys are just a gang. Their bandana happens to be a hood. And they only accept whites. The Lion Kings only accept Hispanics. The Trinitarios only accept Dominicans. The Bloods only accept blacks. The Cribs accept anybody except for whites. You know, the KKK, the Bloods, the Cribs, the Lion Kings, I see very little difference. Only that one was way more effective than the other. And one at one time held political power. My organization that will start other branches. In 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 their uh, anxiety to get membership right, this, and support, they will get in with anyone, including this Nazis. Is, this is not your organization. Doesn't believe that. But I believe a quote by you. I read in a book on the Klan today. Uh, you were denouncing the quote. I think it was Jew-controlled media. Have you used that term? I may have used that it's term. It's a direct quote. I, I may have used that term some years ago. Well, what do you but, mean by that? But as well, I don't mean by that. No, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, and I have, I, I don't have an anti-Semitic bone in my body. But um, it's very easy to go down that rabbit hole with the media and the Jews because there's a lot of Jewish people that are in, in, in theater. But it's not because they're, they just happen to be good at theater. I'm sorry. So this, so is there's a conspiracy then to have uh, black guys play basketball? They're good at that shit, dude. You know? It is what it is. We're going to, you know, some groups of people are going to be good at things. Some groups of people are going to be good at others. For some reason, Jewish people for a long, long, long time have been good in the cine, um, cinematography, cinematographic theater. They're good at the arts. And that's not, that's not nothing new. That anything at this point in time, uh, I believe that, the, that a lot of Jews are, are uh, prominent in the media, but I believe a lot of Baptists and a lot of Methodists and a lot of other people are. Why would are. you use the term Jew-controlled media? You know? uh, well, it, I mean, you don't run around saying the Baptist-controlled media is keeping us off I, the I don't. I no longer use that term. This has been a number of years ago that I would have made that comment, and I'm not apologizing for what I might have said at that time. Right, let's uh, talk but, about blacks. All right. Why? Uh, anyway, I want to go, I'm, you know, yeah. uh, my brother came back from airborne Vietnam, and he told me, you know, and uh, that... Of the bodies that he took out as a medical officer, he said. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you stand there as a grown man with a, <laughs> with a fucking hood on, you know. Only hatred could make you do that, <clears throat> definitely. You know. But I mean, is a hood really that different from a bandana? Is a hood really that different from throwing up shit? You know, is it really that different? I don't know. It's different to me because you know. That shit looks crazy. This nigga's wearing a dunce hat and a fucking blanket. Almost like the Pope. <laughs> you know, 50% of those guys were black kids. Mm -hmm. Served in the United States and Vietnam. This was a, you know, it was a crack front line unit. And mm -hmm. these were American blacks who died in higher numbers for their country in Southeast Asia in that war uh, than did white Americans, as a matter of fact, in the Vietnam War. Now, how, I mean... Fuck with me, and you learn something in every video. This is the one you're going to learn something now. In Vietnam, more blacks died than whites. Ain't that crazy? And look at the movies you watch. You always see the blacks in the background, like one, two, three. There must have been a lot of them if the majority of the casualties were black. Let's hear Pat Buchanan say that again. But what I might have said at that time. Right, let's uh, talk well, about blacks. All right. Why are uh, you? Anyway, running I want to go. I'm, you know, yeah. uh, my brother came back from airborne Vietnam, and he told me, you know, and uh, that of the bodies that he took out as a medical officer, he said, you know, 50% of those guys were black kids. Mm -hmm. Served in the United States and Vietnam. This was a, you know, it was a crack front line unit. And these now 30% of our population is black. So if in a war you're taking away 50% of the bodies are black, you know. That means that the black people took that one of the chin for us, and we should fucking say thank you. I haven't, I haven't even heard anyone even bring that up yet. That's insanity. All these black activists talk about all this bullshit that doesn't matter. That kind of matters. Those motherfuckers put Afghan, they put fucking Vietnam on their back. I didn't even know that. Respect. A very, very impressive group of people, black Americans. That's for damn sure. These were American blacks who died in higher numbers for their country in Southeast Asia in that war 
uh, than did white Americans, as a matter of fact, in the Vietnam War. Now, how, I mean, how can you be against a race which contains people who are out there fighting for their country just as much as white, Christian, Protestant Americans are? That's something else that needs to be cleared up, Pat. We're not against the black mm -hmm. race. Uh, we're not against, we believe in free enterprise for this country. We believe mm -hmm. that everyone should have the same rights. Well, right Mr. Now, Wizard, it right, says no, right minute, here, wait a right, minute, right Mr. Right Mr. Wizard. Now, right. Well, let, let the man speak for the love of God. And, uh, sir, if you don't hate the black race, stop using the fucking N-word with a rolling R. Or not even nigga. You're not even allowed to say nigga, really nigga, because you ain't grew up in no fucking hood. He wasn't forced to say that shit. Me, I wish I could stop saying nigga, but it's hard for me. I've used that shit most of my life. I was intimidated into using it. When, when, you, when, you, when you're a good kid and you, you start saying those words, it's because you don't want to get beat up, man. You don't want to be an outsider in these hostile-ass fucking neighborhoods, so you end up you know, sounding the way you do. It's the way it is. And who's going to change you already? By the time you wake up, you're 25, 30. It's going to be hard as, you know, to change your speech pattern. But I can definitely do it. I definitely do it at work. Interrupt you I, for a minute, Mr. Wizard. It says right here, you believe in the final <clears throat> solution, which is black repatriation to Africa. Now, Abraham, really Abraham Lincoln, but now look, I'm, not, I'm not going sheet. to be cut off. In but the you, no, but I'm not going to be shut bed. off either. You're running around on a bed sheet. I don't have the bed sheet. But I just want to tell you, can you imagine, I want to ask you this question. He's disrespectful more than the KKK guy because the KKK guy's the guest and he's cutting him off and he's screaming and he, and, and he keeps making fun of him. Bro, then why you invite him? Then why do you invite him? I wouldn't even make fun of a pedophile if 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 he's here granting me his time, and I'm going to show the world what he is. I'm gonna let the motherfucker talk. I'm not gonna be there cutting him off and pissing him off so he can fucking get up and leave. That's a guy that's more into himself than he is into the interview and to actually showing, exposing the truth, whatever the truth may lead you. And right now the truth is leading me to believe that the KKK guys got more education than this idiot when it comes to holding a fucking civil conversation. Can you imagine this country repatriating all the black Americans that Pat just spoke about to Africa? No. I mean, what kind of nonsense No, I can't. That? Well, what I'm are you saying it for then? I'm not saying it. Well, you it says it. right here. No, that's your paper. That's not my paper. That's your paper. I took the no, quote no, and no, wrote no, it no. on this that's, blue That's paper. not my paper. Now, to get is back that, to is, it, is to get back to it, now, just a minute. I answered your question. Now, I want to finish what I was saying. We feel that affirmative action is discriminating against right, white people, and there is no question about it. Two wrongs don't make a right. Because black people were hurt and discriminated against in the past does not justify the discrimination well, against... Look at the KKK guy making sense. I say that shit all the time. I do not like that affirmative action shit either. I do not like the the colleges, you know, separating blacks. I do not like any of that shit, man. Two wrongs do not make a right. This motherfucking guy, uh, that's some truth. Against white people now. And we're I, asking I for an end to that. Look, I'm against reverse discrimination. Okay. I'm against racial Good. quotas. I'm against affirmative action as it's practiced. But you said, when I introduced you, I didn't say that your organization was. I said, historically, to most Americans, you're anti-Catholic and anti-Semitic and racist. In other words, anti-black. You okay. said, we're not anti-Catholic. Right. We're not anti-Semitic. You didn't deny the racist thing. Well, it depends on your definition of racist. What I'm a segregationist, okay? Uh -huh. I, I believe that God has commanded me not to mix with other races. Right. For that you? reason, for that reason, I want to have schools where I can send my children to a white school. I want to be able to go to, to my white neighborhoods, to white businesses. Right. You can do that. So if that terms me as a that. racist, then I'm a racist. Wait a minute, you can do that, but you can't have tax exemptions in your all-white school. If well, it's a public school. Yeah, you're a racist, my nigga. <laughs> now, black kids, parents' taxes pay for that school. They got a right to go to that neighborhood school. Now, if you want an all-white school, all-white academy, you can do that right now. You just don't get a tax exemption for it. You so say, what's your complaint? You say you can do that. Now, maybe I can, maybe you can, but what about the poor people that don't have the money to send their children mm -hmm. to private schools? They can't. They're being deprived the right... That's another one. I actually, I'm learning too with this shit. I did not know that it is legal to have an all-white school in America. Wow. They, they could do that um, privately. Wow, that's, that's crazy. I didn't know that that was legal here. I mean, go try it, though. It ain't going to work out. It may not be legal on. It may not be legal on paper, but it is illegal in, in the in the fucking in society and in, in the in the in the in the real world. 
that shit's not gonna fly. Like practice their religion because they don't have the money to send them to a private school. There's no reason why in this great land of ours we couldn't have a three tier. Let me um let me reverse. Let me go back to what he was saying. You so say, what's your complaint? You say you can do that. Now maybe I can. Maybe you can. But what about the poor people that don't have the money to send their children mm -hmm. to private schools? They can't. They're being deprived the right to practice their religion because they don't have the money to send them to a private school. There's no reason why in this great land of ours we couldn't have a three-tiered school system, a black school and a white school and an integrated school, and give everyone their choice. We would have much less dissension. We would have much less racial problems in the schools. And if those people that are, are seeking to integrate the races in this country really were, were seeking to do the best for both races, they would adopt this system and, and, and let integration Proceed what, do think, what do you think of that made I can see what my boy sent me this shit. That made a lot of fucking sense. I am for that. You heard what that motherfucker just said, bro? In this great country of ours, we should publicly have schools that is all white, all black, all mixed, segregated, and you get to choose. Beats paying the fucking student fucking loan bill we just did. Now that's a squander of money. This wouldn't be a squander of money. People will get along better. When you don't force them to accept each other. Let things let let the dice roll where they may. Don't force people to do anything. That's where I'm at. And it seems to me like that's the most unforced approach I've ever heard of so far. Let me rewind it. All white academy. You can do that right now. You just don't get a tax exemption for it. You so say, what's your complaint? You say you can do that. Now maybe I can. Maybe you can. But what about the poor people that don't have the money to send their children mm -hmm. to private schools? They can't. They're being deprived the right to practice their religion because they don't have the money to send them to a private school. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why in this great land of ours we mm -hmm. couldn't have a three-tiered school system, a black school and a white school and an integrated school and give everyone their choice. We would have much less dissension. We would have much less racial problems in the schools. And if those people that are, are seeking to integrate the races in this country really were, were seeking to do the best for both races, they would adopt this system and, and, and let integration proceed. Right, you what do you think of... Look at Pat Buchanan. Pat Buchanan knows that nigga made a point. There's nothing to rebuttal that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Let niggas go to school where they want. Oh, the white boys don't want to go to school with us. Fine. Let them white niggas go where they go. As a matter of fact, I think it should, I think it should go f further with that shit. I've actually spoken about this shit before to my boy that sent me this video. Maybe that's why he sent me this video. He doesn't agree with me, but I've told that nigga. I, 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 I was like, look, if this country was for real, for real, for real, the land of the freedom, if we were for real, for real, that smart and that badass like we say we are, <coughs> There should be no problem with a bar saying no Dominicans allowed. You can open a bar, a, 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 a hardware shop, you know, a grocery store, a club. We want no minorities in this, in, 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 in this business. We only serve white patrons in this business. We only serve white patrons at this bar, right? You should be able to do that. And then let me go open my bar where everyone is welcome. And let, and let the economy decide. Let's see who's going to survive in this competitive market of America. Right? Go ahead. Sell your phones only to white people and market them that way. And I'll, and I'll market my stuff for all Americans. And we'll let the market decide who wins. But you can't force people. You cannot force people to, to think and believe the way you want them to. Sometimes you just got to let people grow. We're not children. The time for guiding ends at 13. After that, you kind of do whatever the fuck you want. And that's the only way you learn after that. Through life. So, yeah, I agree with this guy. Uh, what do you think our founding fathers meant when they said we the people of the United States? Well, I, I won't get into that debate, but... Well, I, I know, but you're sitting here in your bed sheet telling us all that the, <laughs> the only thing you're for, you're against... You're really upset see. about my bed sheet. Oh, yeah, you? I think, you know, I, I, if I were you, I would be so ashamed of myself. I, I mean, I can't imagine walking around in that silly costume. 
Well, when it depends what forefather you were asking when when they said we the people, because some forefathers were thinking blacks, and that is a documented fact. That is a documented fucking fact. Okay, the original Declaration of Independence had the abolition of slavery in it, and had a whole paragraph, a whole section dedicated to that. But it was taken out because many, 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 many of them disagree with it. So how can you free slavery if you don't even have a country? First things first. So that wasn't a problem at hand, but there was always Americans that detested slavery, George Washington included, but Benjamin Franklin. This wasn't a new idea. This was already um, in, in, the bur in, in the head of these people. You need to understand that they were English. England had already abolished slavery. Or, or, or was in the works of abolishing slavery when America was coming, when, when America rebelled and became a country, it was already in the subconscious of, of, of Great Britain to abolish slavery. They abolished slavery shortly after that, worldwide. So these weren't some slave-loving dudes that, 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 that opened America. These, these were people that came from a slave society, a society that was already struggling with the slave issue. A society that freed slaves shortly after they left that society. Just always have that in mind when you think about the forefathers. From telling people to be against blacks and have against ever, Jews. Have you ever seen the Pope and the Cardinals in their costumes? Yeah, but they're religious and they're for something and you're just nothing but against something. And you're no, against we, the I very in, spirit of I this believe country. in the same God. You're against the, the thing. Nowhere. You're against the thing that makes this no. country a unity and that makes this country great. And I... I think you're. I think you're a disgrace. You know nothing about what I believe and what I. I just stand heard for. what you believe. You, and and you you think. Now you wrong. tell me. You. I believe in God. Is that wrong? Do you deny that you said this? That you. This is the literature you're in. Well, the things that he believed didn't piss me off. Actually, I didn't hear anything that he said that pissed me off. To tell you the truth, maybe I need to listen to the video again. Maybe this weed's too good, but. I don't know. He's actually pissing me off. This guy right here getting all aggressive and screaming and pointing and shit. Or motherfuckers just trying to have a fucking nice, decent conversation. Handing out to schools, to school children in America. I just quoted this from your own pamphlet. Are you fed up, it says here, with blacks following you home, trying to beat you up? That's Do you correct. deny that you said that? No, I don't. And let me tell you, that happens more times in America than what you can shake a blacks. stick at. Blacks. 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 Well, that happened to me when I was growing up. Sorry. No, no, fuck that. I ain't sorry shit. I don't fucking apologize when I'm not fucking lying. Yeah, that happened to me. Blacks and Puerto Ricans. Fuck that, nigga. I grew up in Jersey, and boy, nigga. 1993, my nigga. Yeah, you were getting followed home, my nigga. You were getting beat up. And in the Bronx, you were getting buck 50. Buck 50 means they take a razor blade and cut you, my nigga, from lip to ear. Yeah, and it was blacks, because it was the bloods doing that shit to Hispanics. For initiation, right? So, so shut the fuck up, you little creepy motherfucker. That motherfucker's actually right. Because that nigga's hood, because he's a fucking gang member. He's a KKK nigga. I'll let you home and beat you up. I mean, We've had really? more racial You're problems than You're a damn than disgrace to the country. No. no oh, problem. yes, you are. I have a strong belief. You know what? Fact, you people were fact, beaten, 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 beaten. I don't know what we're doing in 1982 talking to you. Well, that's your problem, Tom. But let me tell you one thing. I'm not beaten. The <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, I don't know, but this guy sounds more reasonable than this asshole, than the other asshole. He may be a worse person. He may have caused more harm. But in this conversation, he sounds a lot more reasonable. Well, I don't know anything about him. I know he's a KKK guy. You know, I don't know anything about this guy. I know some Nine King niggas. I know some Trinitario niggas. I know some DDP niggas. You feel me? They ain't bad people. They're not bad guys. They are just not bad guys. They have good hearts. And they're still in a racist gang. All those gangs I mentioned are racist. So, this nigga's in a racist gang too. I, 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 I won't judge him. I won't judge him based on, on what he's wearing. That's just crazy. Or, 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 or the set he's claiming. I won't fuck with him because I don't fuck with gang members, period, that I don't really know that I didn't grow up with. 
But um, yeah, the role doesn't phase me. The Klan is not beaten, and the white race is not beaten. No more than the Democrats is beating or the Republicans is beaten. They're all fighting for the things that they believe in, and we believe in something. All right, what and do you we're believe earnestly in? Honestly, through the law. Right, well, let's get now you tell me what you're against. Achieve. What do you believe in? What we believe in. What are you in. for? We believe in God. We believe in the United States of America. And we believe that God has commanded us to separate ourselves from other races. Not because we hate the other races right. or because we feel that we're better or worse, but we because we feel it's God's commandment. And if you criticize that and our religion, then you're criticizing the Christianity for the last 2,000 years. Right. Damn. You see, when you put it like that, I think I'm going to give that debate to the KKK guy. I mean, if, 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 if you're saying is your religious right not to integrate with other races, I mean, what's the beef with that? Mormons do that. Mormons don't allow blacks in certain aspects of their religion. Strictly in their doctrine. Says the blacks are evil and inferior and immoral. And, 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 and stained from birth. Their souls are stained from birth. And I don't hear no one telling the Mormons shit. They knock on people's doors all the time. I don't hear anybody trying to beat them up or being hostile towards them. But I get it. The Mormons have never uh, burnt crosses and shit. Very sensitive subject. Very sensitive subject. Um, fucking hillbilly KKK niggas, man. That's the only nigga I've ever heard that made some sense. But, uh... He should let that rope go and just get back to work. Because no matter what he says, <clears throat> I can see the hatred in him. Hatred is there. When you belong to any set, man, there's got to be some hatred because you got to be ready to defend that shit. And there's violence involved in defending things. So, you know, if it's not your family and you're willing to do violence for it and it's not your country, I don't know. There's a problem. So that's my take on that debate. I found it to be pretty interesting. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys subscribe and like. Thank you very much and until next time.